This is part two of A Picture Book of Cesar Chavez by David A. Adler and Micah S. Adler, illustrated by Mary Olo's daughter. Part one left off on page 19. Chavez organized church meetings, sit-ins, and even a 300-mile march and of underpaid California grape pickers. When all that failed, he called for a nationwide boycott of California grapes. Boycott is when you refuse to buy, you stop purchasing. To join with others in refusing to deal with a person. In February of 1968, in protest, Chavez stopped eating. For 25 days straight, he drank only water and diet soda. His followers rallied behind him. Do you think rallied means to go against him or to support him? Cesar's fast ended at a public mass and celebration. I was so much out of it, Cesar said later. All I felt was a lot of people pushing and trying to get closer. I was being held up because my legs were so weak. Remember he was fasting or going without food? Senator Robert F. Kennedy gave Chavez a piece of bread to eat. I come here as an American citizen to honor Cesar Chavez, Kennedy said. I honor him for his compassion, his honesty, his truth, and dedication. The strike and boycott ended in July 1970 with higher wages and health care for care protection for members of Chavez's union. Senator Robert F. Kennedy was the brother of the president, John F. Kennedy. Chavez wasn't done fighting for poor farm workers. In August of 1970, he called for a boycott. Remember, boycott is when you stop buying something of lettuce. And when he refused to end the boycott, despite a court order, he was thrown in jail. In, 1720, in 1972, he fasted again for 24 days. Okay. to protest anti-union laws. Remember 20, or excuse me, remember fasting means when you go without food. You can have water, but no food. He organized a massive voter registration drive that helped defeat these laws. Chavez knew that poisonous chemicals sprayed on grapevines to keep away insects were injuring farm workers. In 1987, he called for a boycott, there's that word again, remember what it means, of all grapes sprayed with dangerous pesticides. Pesticides are sprays that are dangerous to people or animals sometimes. And fasted, again, went without food okay. for 36 days. <laughs> in support of, of the boycott. In the years ahead, laws were passed to limit the use of these chemicals. Wonderful news for the people working in the fields. In April of 1993, three, Chavez died in his sleep while on union business in Arizona. Remember, that's where he was born, in Arizona. American farm workers had lost their greatest champion. In accordance with his wishes, he was buried in a simple pine box. More than 40,000 people marched in his procession. 40,000. So Yuba City, I believe, has close to 100,000. So that's about half of people who live in Yuba City came to celebrate his life. One year later, Helen Chavez accepted the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor for her husband. At the ceremony, 
President Bill Clinton said, this remarkable man with faith and discipline, with soft-spoken humility and amazing inner strength, led a very courageous, courageous, having courage, courageous life. And in, in so doing, he brought dignity to the lives of so many others and provided for us inspiration for the rest of our nation's history. Those are wonderful words spoken by the President Clinton. Here are some important dates for you to know about the life of Cesar Chavez. He was born in 1927 in Yuma, Arizona, March 31st. In 1938, he moved with his family to California. And then in 1942, he quit school. I believe he was 15 years old to work full time and help support his family. So you can read the rest of the important dates in his life to see that he was a very important person to the history of our country and to the, the history of the people who had no voice and could not fight this battle alone. 